What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. Just hours ago, Matthew Bowling ran the 60 meter sprint, 200 meter sprint, and was able to move on to the final. With that being said, we're gonna be looking at how he progressed. As always, leave a like and subscribe. After winning the 60 meter SEC championship, he still had a lot to prove as he was ranked number nine with eight other contenders ahead of him. With the unfortunate disqualification of last year's 60 meter champion, Michael Williams, and also the disqualification of the fastest seeded runner, Terrence Jones, the chances of making the final seemed more hoping for the Phantom star from Georgia. Coming into this race, Matthew Bowling had a personal best of 6.59, and after seeing the closest person right next to him get disqualified, the nerves were probably high. This actually helped his race as being away from people seemed to allow him focus more and have a pivot point at the end of the line. While having a mediocre start, he was able to get to his running at the 30 meter mark and progressively got fast as he approached the 60. He ended up crossing the finish line with a blazing PR of 6.56 which helped him proceed to the finals with a good and comfortable time heading into tomorrow. In the finals, we expect to see favor Ash of Tennessee, Record Bradway from Indiana, Lauren Johnson from Wisconsin, Devontae Burnett from USC, Brandon Stewart of USC, Keshawn James of USC, and DeAndre Swift of Florida State. Moving on to the 200 meter, he was just finishing his long jump campaign where he finished third and was able to get the mark of 25.9. So coming off to this program, he had the high rise lane six, which is probably the favorite lane for him as he had the fastest seeded time coming in. His start for the 200 meter looked just the same like it did in the 60 meter prelim. He got out good and had a good high knee lift towards the straightaway. And going through the next curve around the 135 meter mark, he seemed to let up a little bit, but that wasn't a problem as he came towards the second home straight comfortable and crossed the line in a time of 20.42. This currently sees him first head into tomorrow's final with the closest runner next to him being Javante Harden of North Carolina a t with a time of 20.51. Impressive performance for bowling during day one of the championship. Hope to see a healthy race tomorrow despite what place he finishes. As always like the video, subscribe and appreciate you for staying to the end. Peace out.